Okay, so what we've done is we've set the water temperature up to 140, which is the maximum you can set this heater without putting the chip in, which basically makes it a commercial grade heater. And actually, like I said, it'll go up to 180 degrees. So one of the things we did here is we played with the camp clap a little bit, and we got a much, much better uh, reading out of it as far as the inlet water, okay? So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it back on, but we've turned the water temperature up to 140, so we're gonna we're gonna have it run. You're gonna see the water temperature here. You're gonna see the return temperature here, and that's gonna be right about that max of that 107. You're gonna see. Um, the colder it is outside, the more it's gonna bleed off too. So if it's real mild out, you know. But if you got a really cold day, the colder the air that's blowing over the coil, the more temperature is gonna bleed off of the off of the uh, return. So you could play with that a little bit if you had to. But basically, you're going to see with this at 140, you're going to see how your, your temperature rise, how much greater it is, and how much more heat it added to the system. And all we did was hit a little button and dialed it up. So it, I got it down to 59. We ran this thing, again, it's 50 degrees out, so it's not that cold. But it was at 65. We ran it for less than five minutes, shut it down, because we wanted just the water temperature for the purpose of this uh, video. But um, it went up two degrees, you know. So... No, obviously no problem, uh, you know, not only maintain the heat, but gain the heat. So I'm going to turn it up to 71, all right, and you should hear it kick on. Again, this is the Ecobee thermostat, so here we go. a little bit higher supply air temp once it balances out here. Supply temps creeping up here, slowly but surely we're at 133 degrees and climbing. We should balance out just a little bit around 140, maybe a little shy. Our supply temps are already warmer than before. We had about 95 degrees, you can see we're at 98. Probably going to climb a little bit above 100 by the time it's done here. Now probably what I'll do for the summertime is I'll probably just set the domestic hot water for 120 degrees. In the, in the winter I had it set at 125 and I honestly left it alone because at some point if we do end up selling this system, I want to make sure that the sizing and everything works. So I, no matter how cold it was, I left it alone and I, and, I, and I never had to play with the water temperature because I wasn't getting enough heat in there. So it does sometimes take a little while this is not the type of system you want to set to 40 degrees. Come home, turn it up to 72, and expect it to, you know, be 72 in 20 minutes. It'll get there eventually, but on a really cold day, sure, you want to program your thermostat to save some money. Maybe set it down to 62 or something when you're 60 when you're out in the house, but you don't want to set it at 40 or 50 when it's that cold out, and then come in, turn it on, and expect it to hit 72. So just keep that in mind.